Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing some of my antique review, and if you didn't know, if you've seen some of my videos in the background, there might be this shelf. That's where I keep all my antiques, and I go to lots of flea markets and antique stores, and yeah, that's basically where I get all my stuff. And um, I just want to show you all, and I'm just going to, some of it I'm going to spread out on the floor, and some of it I'm just going to show you on the shelf. And uh, yeah, just enjoy so the first one will be hmm because i have a couple shelves let's just do this shelf right here right there there's most of it i'll lay it out because there's some stuff on the back but yeah so see you when i get everything spread out gonna take a while okay i'm back that took me like 10 minutes but I got everything ready, so number one, this old license plate right here. Now this is a 1965 uh, license plate, and I found it at our cabin in the woods, and you can see right here, see the big dirt line? That was buried under the ground, I had to dig it out. And all it said was 19. It could say 1999. Nope, 65. And, um, yeah, I have no clue who this was. If anyone in my family's watching, if you know who's, who this was, maybe let me know. But, yeah, second one. I have an old 1940s um, Tom Thumb cash register. And it's fully functional, other than that these two little pegs work and the pushing thing that mechanism that opens this doesn't work but everything works and it's really good condition for how old it is um but yeah uh that's that and there's a little receipt machine and i used to hide my money in here Let's see if there's anything in there nope but so yeah it's Number three is that there's this old feather with a quill on it. I don't know what it's tied on with, but it's a big, huge feather. Um, next one, I have this old BMW Hot Wheels car from, like, the 80s. And I found this at Target at the back of, like... Like, you know, the aisles are, like, there's this cardboard stuff, and then it's hollow in the middle... I, there's a hole, and I looked through it, and I saw it back there, and I guess it got stuck back there for a while. Um, anyways, there's this bunch of old bottle caps here. This one I found in our barn. This one got at an antique store. This one, I have no clue where I got this one. And this one, I don't know where I got this one either. And, um, but, anyways, the next one I got is this old Beatles yellow submarine one. I don't have no clue how old this is, but it's all tin, so it must be a little bit old. I have no clue, but I know it's pretty cool. I like the Beatles, they're pretty cool. Um... So that's that. And then I also have a ton of locks. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, and 12. And out of all those locks, and out of all these keys right here, these are all old skeleton keys, and all these keys right here, only one key fits to this lock. Right here. And kind of Makes me mad that there's no other lock because this is my favorite one. Focus. Um, 
But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Um, there's a frog bobbly head. That was just on my floor. Um, I have a 1938 limited edition Max Box car. The collector's model from the model Ford A. Uh, from 1938, and it's a it's a biscuit truck. I didn't read that. Um, anyways, this I also found in a field at the farm. It's an old saddle buckle from where there used to be horses there, if there ever was. And this is a little pin I got from Tomahawk Camp. Um, this is an old little bell that I found in barn. And a 3030 shell. And there's this little coaster that says Coca-Cola on it. This is from an, a restaurant from the 60s. Uh, this is really cool. It's a Mount St. Helens ash jar from, see the date, 1982, June 25th, 1982, Mount St. Helens ash. That's a big jar of ash. Um, and then I got this old gun oil tin, um, a beer can. Uh, a Ritz Crackers tin, a limited edition one, and a really, really old Schweppes bottle. I think this is from, I think they started, I'll check the date, I'll see how old this is. Bottle doesn't have a date, but it's really cool. I know it's older than 60 years, I'm guessing, maybe 50 years old. I have no clue, but most of the other ones I know of. I also have a lot of old comic books, and this is my favorite one, the Woody Woodpecker. And it's in super good condition, and it was made in 1958 of April. It says it right there. Don't I, haven't, I don't think you can read that, but I just wanted to see if you could. But this is a Tweety and Sylvester Spy Boy. I have some newer ones, too. Um, this one doesn't have a cover, but I think this is Superman. Yeah, Superman. Um, Looney Tunes. X-Men. And another old Superman. And then I was, there was a... I think there's a, for a dollar, you get five comic books, and you have a chance to win a first edition, and I only bought one, and I wasn't going to buy any more, I just wanted to see if I got it, and I did, I got the Avengers first edition from the 90s, no, I don't know how old this is, but I'm pretty sure it's a first edition, it says it on the cover, Volume 1 right there. Oh. Volume 1. So that's pretty cool. And then I got an All-American Comics. Has a bunch of different ones in there. Another X-Men. Um, a Popeye. And that's all my comic books. But I, I have a couple really cool old um, newspapers. This is from, um, it's in Wisconsin. The date is February 8th, 1940. And let's see how much this costs. I think it costs five cents, 10 cents. But yeah, I think it talks about the war that's coming up. So that's pretty cool. And I got, um,. Some old Jimi Hendrix postcards from the 60s. Haven't been touched. And then I got some old, really old postcards with stamps. The first one is 1923 and the other one is 1910. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all for that shelf. Uh, oh, I forgot one more. There's this old cannon can actually put a wick in it. You can see it, that little hole there. 
the whole thing's hollow. I'm pretty sure if you put like a BB in there, you can fire it. I don't know. But that's just one shelf. Got one more to go. And then we'll end the video. So I'm going to quick put all this back, take that out, put it on the floor, and I'll see you when we get there. Okay, that was really tiring for some reason. I'm just going to show you from what's up here. I'm just going to take stuff down and show you one by one. First of all, a military bugle. Didn't clean it, so I don't want to play it. Um, uh, got one of these old video cameras. Watch the sound it makes. It's really cool. Um, I got a really old cast iron jail key from Chicago. Another tin coaster. Um, a U.S. government 3030 lead tip round from 1930, I think. A uh, World War II grenade. Don't worry, the powder's out. Maybe. Uh, right here is a dual lens camera from the 60s, an old bank from the 70s, a coin bank, some old books. This one in particular right here is from the 1890s, I think. And then just a bunch of old bottle pop bottles, a can of Popeye spinach, um, this old clock, and pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Otherwise, once I get more stuff, I will put it up there and make a new video, but hope you guys liked the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.